Hey, what's going on, everybody? Just giving a little update on the progress of my home theater. Well, from the title, you say bad news, good news. Well, the bad news is that my subwoofer, I don't know if you can see it, it's a Philip Power subwoofer. Um, as W090. It's a long time subwoofer, but it's been doing the job for years. But yesterday, watching the movie, and I'm like, what's going on? So I'm there, I'm like, yo, what's going on? I'm not hearing the rattle or nothing. So, and my receiver was on 12. At 12, I'm hearing boom, bam, all that good stuff. Come to find out that, I guess, is the volume just dropped. It comes on, you could hear the rumbling, but it's really, really low. So I don't know what's going on. Went to electronic repair, which was very, very hard to find. It's like those things doesn't exist no more. It's like everybody just buy everything brand new lately. They don't get nothing repaired. It's just, okay, it doesn't work. Throw it out, buy a new one. So I'm kind of old school. I love this, so I'm trying to get it repaired. Anyway, went to the guy. He was like, what do you think the problem is? I'm like, well, I'm coming to you because you're supposed to be the repair guy. He was like, I'm just telling him the volume doesn't go all the way up. He put his iPod in the back to see how high does it go. So it was like, it could be a transi transistor. You could check it out, but if it is, it's gonna be an issue because you gotta order it and they don't make, I guess, I don't know, parts. I thought the transistor was just universal. Just get a piece, solder it in, and you're good to go, but I guess not. So now, I am, right now, just thinking what to do. I am on let go. I am talking to a guy about a subwoofer, I think it's a um, Boston XB4 for like $40, but that one is about, I guess it's 100 watts. He said 300 watts, but I think on the review it's about 100 watts, which is great because this is a 75 watt subwoofer, so there should be some more rumbling. Um, for that one, it doesn't have an audio, like audio, out and in just one connect that this does so i may have to go to the audio store to the electronics store and get like a splitter to make it work but he's taking a while to respond so i don't know if that's going to be the deal if not second option is um amazon they have one for 89 dollars it's got a lot of good reviews but as i said before this is a review but this 89 dollars so it's like a hundred dollars I didn't know that subwoofers are so expensive now. Went to Best Buy. <laughs> the cheapest one was for I think one ninety nine or one forty nine, if I'm not lying. I'm like, yo, dude, I'm just buying a subwoofer. Yeah, we don't sell it like that no more. And these are the high brand men, whatever. I'm like, yo, listen, I just want something at least seventy five, maybe sixty watts tops. The lowest, 60 watts, 75 and up. Well, this is a 300. I'm like, listen, I just want <laughs> it's easy subwoofer. 65, don't sell that. So I need something 75, but this is a 75 watt amp. So I'm just thinking I need something that at that capacity or higher. So so see what let goes brings. Um, went to Walmart. They do have subwoofers, but it comes with a soundboard. It's like 125, but you have to get it with a soundboard, and half of those is, um, I guess, Bluetooth. So <sighs> it's so hard. I, I miss Circuit City. There's Radio Shack, but Radio Shack is the same thing. So, uh, but what can I say? But anyway, the good news is that. My screen came from Cars Place. This is the 53 height, 126 in width. 
so it came so now I could start measuring well not measuring just buying the um the lumber from Home Depot and start putting it together so it's not that bad but still though I need a subwoofer <laughs> there's nothing with a home entertainment system without a subwoofer so hopefully this dude doesn't let go actually answer me back so I could go back and check and say so I could go and pick it up hopefully tomorrow because I'm off from work tomorrow so tomorrow would be a good time to me to travel down the road and go get it if not I just buy it from Amazon and wait the next five days for that shit to come but anyway if this is the next update probably the next update I probably show is when I actually build the screen and it's probably on the wall but I gotta see I gotta busy 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 week coming up so at work so i gotta see what's going on but anyway this is just an update of me ranting babbling about my subwoofer and my cosplay screen matter of fact it's a gray screen so <sighs> you know what a gray screen looks like so it doesn't mean i don't have to open it up and show anything so this is just the box that it comes in it's 53 inches i guess where's the box of course you gotta measure for the space in between so and it's a 126 in width so i'll see what i'm gonna do this is the wall i'm probably gonna put it on well not probably it's gonna put it on so so far so good i'm getting there not in a rush hopefully when it's finished it looks like what i pictured it's supposed to look like but anyway peace